Max Life Insurance has gone underweight on Indian markets. In a chat with Darshan Mehta, our Chief Investment Officer, explain why. Listen in. It was a mixed uh, bag with uh, probably a bit more downgrades than upgrades. Uh, uh, so we've seen uh, some of the auto stocks uh, doing not so great in terms of margins, etc. And we did see some of the corporate banks also showing a uh, bit more NPAs and accretions in the non-performing uh, or the stress book uh, over the quarter. Uh, what is also more important is after June 30th, uh, the commentary has not improved. Uh, so if you look at the headlines on the physical numbers like auto sales, uh, uh, loan growth, etc., uh, those numbers are not really picking up. So while we will see a bit of uh, a downgrade uh, for the June quarter numbers uh, versus expectations, uh, we might also see further downgrades for the September quarter numbers if, if things don't turn around very soon. Uh, what's your sense on uh, the numbers that surprised? Uh, which sectors are you all positive on? And which are the sectors that you believe that, you know, the pain will continue? So, broadly speaking, you know, uh, financials is the biggest uh, segment. And within financials, what we have seen is that banks, uh, especially the corporate banks, which did not grow very aggressively in the last uh, three, four years, uh, and, and kind of uh, let the old uh, NPA issues uh, roll off, have now the potential to do much better and we have seen that in these banks uh, where we've seen a couple of uh, top level changes plus uh, the banks have been conservative over the last three four years the numbers are actually uh, not too bad and they have the capital and the wherewithal to grow so these private sector banks both uh, uh, which have a mix of retail as well as uh, the non-stressed uh, corporate book uh, should do very well in the next uh, few years because we do see them taking away market share incrementally nbfc is uh, especially the retail oriented NBFCs with uh, good ALM practices should continue to thrive uh, both in the housing finance space as well as the consumer space. So these are a couple of segments which uh, we believe uh, should do well. Uh, apart from that, you know, the consumer discretionary space has been really bombed out. And I don't see a situation where you can have auto numbers, especially car and two-wheel numbers, uh, continue to be negative for too long because it is a definitely a, it is definitely a very long-term structural positive story and with uh, the RBI and the government uh, very determined to get cost of funding down, uh, it should pick up if not now in the next couple of quarters. What's your sense of the global news flow that's happening currently with uh, uh, the trade war, with uh, the Trump tweets, uh, how, how are you viewing that? So directly, frankly, uh, trade war does not impact us much because uh, we are net importers. So to the extent, uh, you know, if oil prices uh, go down because of slowdown, it can help us positively. Uh, but on the other hand, it will impact uh, risk appetite globally. So before yesterday, when we saw a bit of a uh, pullback rally in the global markets uh, as the U.S. Uh, announced that uh, some of the items uh, may not be immediately uh, subject to the import duties. Uh, but apart from that, uh, you know, if if the global economy slows down because of this trade war and oil comes down, uh, while that would be a positive for India, uh, you may see risk appetite and capital flows impacted. So, if you, if, as we have seen in the last uh, two to three months, we have seen continuous uh, FII selling not only in India, but even some of the emerging markets have seen uh, foreign portfolio investors pulling out money. So, that risk appetite can, can be a negative for the, uh, for the Indian markets. Okay, uh, Mihir, my final question, what are you all doing uh, as, as a fund at this point of time? Are you sitting on cash? Are you investing? Uh, which uh, asset classes are you putting your money in? What's the strategy now? So on the equities uh, piece, we are underweight. We are holding a bit more cash than uh, than usual. Uh, so that's uh, that's a defensive uh, posture, waiting for things to stabilize uh, locally as well as uh, globally. Uh, but I think our problems are more uh, local and uh, we do see that uh, a lot of the solutions are also in our hands. We don't have to depend too much on global events to help us out. So hopefully sooner rather than later, we'll be back on the growth path and we'll put the uh, cash to use. Uh, on the bonds side, uh, uh, fixed income side, what we have seen is that there is a determination to get interest rates down, both from the government's point of view and even the RBI is now supporting that view over the last couple of policies. So we are, uh, we are uh, relatively long compared to the benchmark uh, in terms of duration. Uh, Credit calls we are not taking too much, we are rather playing more to the duration route.